can't go let it poop. I'm checking out of the awesome ocean. And going over today's science file. And today's science file says how the ocean currents form. Well, stay warm and try this. You will need two glass jars, some salt, some food coloring, a plastic container, and some water. Today, I am going to show you how to make your very own ocean current container model right at home. So, to start, you need to get yourself a small glass jar and a big glass jar. And you're going to fill both glass jars with water. Set your large glass jar aside for now, because you are going to get yourself some salt. Add about 75 milliliters of salt to your jar, and then add about five drops of blue food coloring. Now we got to mix this up, and like James Bond, I prefer mine shaken, not stirred. <laughs> this aside for a second and get yourself a plastic container and of course something to prop it up. I'm using the box that the food coloring came in. Now get your large jar of fresh water and you're going to pour your large jar of water into the container. Now get your blue sea salt water and you're going to pour just a small amount of this into your container and watch what happens. Whoa! Now check that out! The salt water sank through the fresh water to the bottom of the container. You can see it right there. The fresh water is floating on top of the salty sea water. Now that's so wicked cool! So, why does the salt water sink to the bottom of the container? And what does it have to do with ocean currents anyways? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Ocean currents are giant rivers that move through the oceans and are caused because of two major reasons. First is the difference in ocean water density. The saltier and colder water is, the more dense it becomes, and it pushes on warmer and less salty water. This causes currents to flow from the equator to the north and south poles. These currents are called thermal hailing currents, or warm salty currents. Second are prevailing winds, which push on the water, creating currents. The spin of the Earth causes currents to flow clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. As these currents circulate from the equator to the poles and back, the water warms areas near the poles and cools areas near the equator. Without these currents, places like Britain would be much colder in the winter and much hotter in the summer. These currents are also very important to living organisms as they bring food to animals, provide transportation to both animals and plants, as well as keep the water temperatures stable. So now you know that this water might be cold, but it's still warm enough to heat up a climate. You know, testing this for yourself right at home is why science so cool.